Hi, I'm Patricia Regeer. We're going to cover how to use Zoom and OBS to record through OBS the screen recording in a breakout room. So for example, if you're using it for role plays that you're able to record, pause, and play back within that breakout room. So join me. Number one step is to open up Zoom first. Step number two, open up OBS. So I'm showing you right now here what OBS looks like. It's on my second screen. So right now I'm going to be looking at my second screen so I can be showing you around on that platform. So again, recap, number one, open up Zoom, that you're on camera, your mic is working all through Zoom first. Number two, open up OBS. And then in OBS, the scene that I have set up here, and I'm going to take you through how to do that, but it is then pulling in the screen recording of my Zoom. As two people or more are on the screen within Zoom, that will be all on the OBS as well. And here in OBS, let me just show you to set up this screen, I click in, in the scene here, I click the plus sign and then I'm making this my Zoom screen recording role plays. So I've named my scene and nothing is here right now. So I need, I've got my scene and I need to add my sources. So the first one is display capture. Okay, so if you're doing brand new, you can add Zoom screen or if you already have the setup. Um, Zoom screen recording video. Okay, so you can call it what you want, but you're adding a new source and that is pulling in ideally what is on Zoom. Now, it looks like a double box right now because there's just a second box over top and you want to make sure that it is showing this. Uh, display one. This is where you're pulling in from your screen two or screen one that you're pulling in the right location. For me, this is the correct, and that I'm capturing the cursor. Um, it doesn't entirely matter, but it for this, that is what I want. And then I, when I click OK, there's no double box, but it, you're making sure that you collect, you uh, are pulling in from a correct screen, that it is um, pulling in your Zoom but you also want to pull in the sound. So you need to go plus, you want to click audio output capture. So computer sound from Zoom meeting is what this is. And again, it is another box opening up just to double check um, that everything's looking okay. So we're going to test it, but basically you want the computer sound because you want to hear who's talking. It's not about your mic. It's about what's coming through the computer for the two people doing role play. And you want to pull in what you're seeing on Zoom. So you're going to have OBS on one screen and Zoom on um, your other monitor. And this is how you set up your scene and the two sources um, as well. So then you have this set up and when you hit recording, that's going to be in this part here with the record or, uh, controls. I will also show you in Zoom how you want to set things up. But right now in the OBS section, you are going to start recording. And then there's going to be times where you're going to need to pause recording. Um, and, and then you click it, what it will show you here at the very bottom, 
is if it's recording or not. Right now it's paused. I'm clicking pause again in order for it to start recording. The number is continuing. When you're finished with that recording, then you click stop. And then you are going to, you're going to go up to file and show recordings. So then what will open up is another box. Um, I'm gonna, so it might be over top of your Zoom screen. That's right now where it's coming in for me. Or it might pop up over top of your OBS. Uh, but either way, right now you're seeing it. And it is just showing up. For me, it's under videos on my computer. And it's showing up for date and time. So what I would do is pick the latest time, which happens to be at the bottom uh, for today. I'm clicking that open, which seems to be taking a moment. So it's popping open and it's just taking a, a little bit of time. It took a moment for it to come up. We have Zoom running and we have OBS running. Those are two big systems. But when you're practicing, you want to then pull up that video and the facilitator is still going to be talking potentially if you're the one producing. If you're also facilitating, just ask everyone to just, you know, bear with you that you're pulling up the video to play back. So this video I now have um, and you just have to find this play button Maybe you're going to be, if you're producing, you're going to be on mute so that you can be getting this set up um, in the background. Pull up the video, pause it, or bring it to the beginning of this, the uh, section. Let me just pull this up so you can see. So it might look sometimes that you have like because you're going to be seeing yourself double so just get a sense on what's what okay so when you've pulled up your video pause it recording. okay and it might be sounding a little bit different because it's recording what's coming through the computer sound and what's going to be um, important are the next steps in Zoom itself. Um, so I'm going to be showing you that too, because you're going to you're going to need to share screen in order to share that video. Um, and once you've done that sharing, you'll go back to start recording, pause, stop recording, and then pull up show. Re um, your videos and pull up the next one. So you're going to be doing that again. So the next segment, I'm going to show you what you're doing in Zoom. Here in Zoom, you have multiple people and the two people that are going to be in the role play, they're going to have their cameras on. The other people are going to turn their cameras off. So this person's going to turn their camera off. You might see their their photo. What you're going to do here in Zoom is the three dots by one of the people off camera, you're going to find that hide non-video participants. This way the two people that are on camera are the only people being captured then in Zoom. So that's what you need to do here. When the next two people, it's their turn to talk, they need to turn on their cameras and the rest of the people need to turn off their cameras and that just naturally will change then who's on screen for what your OBS is picking up. So what your screen, screen recording in OBS is going to be doing is also pulling in the, the bottom part, your whole screen. And, um, and so when you have your two people set up, that's fine. But what's going to be key is when you click share screen, you are going to pick the video that is open. Um, let me just open up one of the videos. So again, I'm finding under videos, the last one, I'm going to open that up. So that's ready to go on my second screen potentially. 
So in the background, I'm going to have ready my, my video. And at the beginning, prepped, not on play right away. So when I click share screen, I'm going to find the video that is open and ready to go. Now, right now, it's on my screen, too. So if you don't see it in another box right now, just pick that um, and then click share. And I'm seeing it on the other, um, on my backup computer. So I can see that I'm pulling up the right, right video. And that is a good way of practicing and testing this out. So when I pick the video again, I'm going to click screen okay so now I'm seeing the video it's not my one or two and that is ideal if you pick this but what is even better too you can pick advanced portion of screen if you want to do that if you're always going to have a similar setup this is another way so you can find which way is most comfortable for you but the portion of the screen then I could just adjust it so here I am showing you when I picked that portion of the screen, this green box came um, open on my second monitor and I just adjusted it to just show the two people instead of all this other stuff in Zoom. Maybe it's less confusing. Um, and that's what everybody then is seeing. So when I click Porting, the bottom, porting. So when I'm clicking the, the play at the bottom, they're not seeing that. Oh, they're no. only seeing the two people. You also don't want to have your participants panel or chat open on the side necessarily for this portion so that the section that's being pulled into OBS is just the, the screenshot. All right, so for our recap, first of all, you're going to open your Zoom, get yourself set up on camera and that the right mic is being uh, picked, then open up your OBS. And we're gonna do a quick recap of what you need to set up in OBS. Um, I'm not covering all the pre-steps, but a reminder here that you need to set up your scene. After your scene, you're going to set up for screen recording your sources, which include the dis display capture, which is your monitor showing your Zoom pictures of people, and the audio capture, which is pulling from your computer speakers so you can see hear the people that are role playing. Back in Zoom, if you're producing, turn off your camera and mic. Ask everyone else who is role playing to turn on their cameras and then hide non video participants in Zoom so you're only seeing those that are role playing. Back in Zoom, in OBS, what you will be doing is behind the scenes, you're going to be starting to record. I'm gonna show you this here. So you're gonna start recording and then be aware to pause when you need to and then stop recording. Next, you will show your recordings in file so that you can bring up the video to share screen back in Zoom. So in Zoom here, you are going to share screen, pick the video that you have open and ready, paused, and don't forget to share the sound, uh, your computer sound. That will then go through Zoom when you're sharing the video. Then be ready to stop um, and start all over again with your OBS that you are going to start recording the next group. You just have the next pair turn on their cameras and mics and everyone else is going to be off camera so you don't need to do anything further in that regard. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. I hope that this step-by-step -step tutorial and guide helps you with screen recording your Zoom sessions, potentially in breakout rooms when you're doing role plays. This would work in the larger group setting as well, but screen recording through OBS. Um, you can start and stop throughout this video. I'll have chapters listed below this timestamp so you can recap a particular section. And I'll link some other videos that will 
show you how to initially download OBS and um, set yourself up and the same with Zoom as well. Make sure you have the latest up-to-date Zoom. I'll link that video as to how to do that too. Thank you for joining me and until next time, I hope you're able to facilitate engaging experiences online and turn an audience into participants. Thanks again.